Now let's take a look at an example of having multiple deponents or witnesses on a single job, like a cross deposition. So we're going to go to turn in. Uh, we're going to put in a job number 11655, enter, enter. So we come to this uh, four quadrant. So again, step one, we're going to new, and we'll have a first witness at uh, 45 pages, and uh, Young Lee has no exhibit. Reporters check the reporter's name. Everything's fine. We're going to save and close. The new again for the second witness. And this time it is the doctor, uh, James Cavan, uh, MD. And he's 123 pages. The same reporter, save and close. So now we have two deponents in quadrant number one. Again, moving on to step two, using free pill, uh, free pill parties first. And uh, under the job, now we see the scheduling attorney. And uh, now does he, does he want both witnesses? Answer is yes, then check all. So he's paying for both of them, or he, he's ordering both transcripts. And we'll go ahead and save and close. Now we have one more attorney on the billing sheet. So I'm going to new. And we'll look up the contact. Uh, Pettert is the last name. Stephen Pettert, we select him. We make it same, uh, bill to is the same as a sold to. Uh, now at the bottom grid here, uh, both witne uh, witnesses are selected and uh, again, Stephen Pettit attorney uh, is ordering both transcripts. So we'll just go ahead and save and close. So even though in quarter number two, we have two invoices, now in quarter number three, now you see four orders. So there are, um, two orders for James Cavan and two orders for Yong Lee. Now starting with the James Cavan doctor, we'll just simply go highlight each attorney. We go pre-fill services and uh, he's, he's paying for the uh, ON1 in this case and there, is an, there, there are exhibits. So only thing I need to change is he doesn't want condensed. Instead he wants his uh, outstanding order which is an amicus. So we'll save that. On the Stephen Pettit's case, Prefill Services, he's buying just a copy of that witness, uh, and uh, everything's fine here, so we'll go save and close. Now, moving over to the Young Lee's transcript, Daniel Berg is simply buying a copy of that. So this is where cross come in, except there are no exhibits. And uh, in this case, we we'll also sell him an amicus. And uh, Stephen Pettit, Prefill Services, he's the one paying for half day per diem on the original, and no exhibits. Save and close. So just like that, we put in the cross deposition where there are more than one witness involved. Now later on, I found that there there were there were actually uh, there was a, a third uh, attorney who just uh, uh, wants to buy a, a copy of the uh, James Cabin doctor's testimony. So let's go ahead and first of all add him in quarter number two. So let's say uh, the, uh, the attorney's name was Timothy Rice. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go ahead and select him. We'll also bill him. Now except at the bottom grid, now I have to unselect, uncheck Young Lee because he does not want to buy the Young Lee's transcript. He only wants to buy James Kevin doctor's expert testimony. So this is where you will select which transcript that attorney is ordering. Okay, just simply save and close. So all that will do is then now, so under the James Kevin in quadrant number three, now you see three orders. Three attorneys are ordering doctor's testimony, but only two attorneys are ordering plaintiff's testimony. And again, Timothy Rice, since I already the Stephen Pettit cop Daniel Berg or Stephen Pettit is the copy order, and I can simply go into copy services and simply say copy uh, James Cavan to Timothy Rice and then save and close. So that'll simply make it Timothy Rice's order exactly same as Stephen Pettit's order under the James Cavan MD.